the Afraid at Oxford Castle. It is the 26th of December in the year 1557, during the reign of Mary Tudor, Queen of England. Britain is at war with France. It is a stormy midwinter's day. Gales are raging. A French ship is beached on the sands of Oxwich Bay. The surviving sailors, wet and bedraggled, disembarked and head to the light of the rectory for help and salvation in Oxwich Village. A branch of the Mansell family were first on the spot. They lived at Oxwich Castle. The villagers, alerted by the priest, had to claim salvage of the ship's cargo. The spoils are shared between the villagers, the priest, the lord of the manor and his steward. News of the wreck reached Sir George Herbert, who himself had rights along the coast. I come in the name of Sir George Herbert, Admiral of the Crown. I demand what is his. Show us your warrant, and then we'll discuss it. Sir Herbert, hearing of the situation, becomes incensed. He waits to hear mass, and then sets forth for Oxwich, arriving at dawn at the priest's house. Where's the cargo? I demand my goods. And without attempt at discussion, he tried to physically wrestle the goods away from various houses, intimidating people with his men. In a brief time, he arrived at the castle itself. I demand to see Sir Rice Mansell! My husband is not at home. He is away in important business. My lady, your son Edward has gone to the village. Sir Rice Mansell is far from home, so Sir George Herbert and his men go looking for Sir Edward. They are sent on a wild goose chase around the village, hunting for Sir Edward. In the meantime, Sir Edward is found and told of what has happened. He arrives at the castle, angry and armed, surrounded by his men. My name is Sir Edward. I will defend this castle with my life. How dare you come to rob and invade it? Edward's elderly aunt, Anne Mansell, came to the gatehouse to try and reason with the irate and increasingly unreasonable men. Stop! I'm sure you do not resort to violence! Unfortunately, the angry Herbert insulted Edward and the two men were unable to resolve their differences. And in the confusion and skirmish, one of Herbert's men threw a stone and it unintentionally hit Anne on the forehead. She fell to the floor amidst cries of murder. I must write to the Star Chamber to demand justice for my aunt. Lady Anne is gravely hurt. She lies in bed surrounded by her ladies for four days and dies on New Year's Day, 1558. Thank you. 